Hi, I hope you've just developed the function is old. Um, maybe taking a shortcut, maybe being exemplary. In any case, if all tests pass, we are by definition happy. So let's do some exercise. Let's continue doing some exercise again. Um, develop the function is probability. It's the same drill. Create a get a repository called is probability. Share the URL of the repository with the teachers. Develop it. So is probability is a function that determines if a number is a probability. A probability is the chance of something happening. The chance that something happens can be none, which is a zero, or for sure, which is a one, one dot o, or a hundred percent. Develop it, give it a develop it exemplarily, and we'll discuss uh, a history, a, a repository history um, when you're all done. If you want to do more, uh, there are some other functions you can try to work on. Again, um, so try write the function is number to determine if an object is a number. Are numbers determines if an object is a list of numbers? Is Roman number? This is the advanced stuff. That's why it's the S. It's a super more. You shouldn't do this, but if you really have, if you're super quick, yeah, go ahead and do it. Determine if a number is a Roman number, if a string is a Roman number, is prime, determine if a number is a prime number. Um, try to be exemplary again, but if you think you get the idea of TDD, um, try to, you, you can go and try to be a bit more sloppy and you'll see um, and observe what happens there. Because there are some problems and I'll discuss these soon. Because, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to wait until you've done this. So I'm just going to continue. So the bottom line of today is that we wrote unit tests. And those tests are the only one your boss may read. Usually no one cares about how you actually, or few people really care how you actually wrote a function, as long as it's correct and fast enough. Um, unit test. Uh, the literature assumes that the responsible programmers write these tests in languages like C++, R and Python. So just write those and don't be a, a rookie or a noob or a beginner or an irresponsible programmer. Um, there are some problems today what we did. We only tested our code manually. Um, that means we change it, we run it, but there's no guarantee. Uh, we only tested on our computer. Um, we are not sure if our functions are tested completely. Maybe we made the functions too complex and there are parts of the functions that are never used. That's called the dead code. We, we don't check for dead code. And there's no test for the style of the code. So we can write any weird grammar in Python and, and, and the tests pass, but the tests are not, there are no tests on style yet. Uh, also, documentation, we, well, we do write tests on documentation, uh, but we don't enforce to write these tests yet. Um, these things can be solved by using continuous integration. And that's what we're going to discuss in the next lesson. So for now, um, that is it for today. I see you all in the next lesson and enjoy your day. Hey, though.